Welcome to our comparison of LearnDash and Teachable, two of the most popular learning management systems, LMSs, available today. You're here with WooNinjas, your trustworthy team of WooCommerce, WordPress, and e-learning experts. In this video, we'll take a deep dive and look into the pricing features and ease of use of both LearnDash and Teachable. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to make a very good decision on which is the best option for you. And if you want more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and write any video suggestions you might have in the comments section. We're always looking for great video ideas. All right, so let's jump into it. So the big difference between LearnDash and Teachable is one is self-hosted and the other is not. So LearnDash is actually self-hosted while Teachable comes with hosting already integrated. Remember, LearnDash is a plugin for WordPress, which surprisingly runs 42% of the internet. So when you're running LearnDash, you are able to choose super fast hosting, while with Teachable, you get what they have. You can't upgrade the speed of load times or anything like that. So one of the benefits of LearnDash is that it's self-hosted, as we mentioned earlier. It's not only that you can pay for more expensive hosting that loads really quick, so people come to your site, pages load quicker, and they don't leave. There are some other benefits that include endless customization, much more control, fair costs, meaning you just pay for what you need with LearnDash, and typically it's on an annual fee rather than a monthly fee like Teachable. So now let's look at design options. Getting your site, whether that's Teachable or LearnDash, to look just how you want it, and let's jump into it. So LearnDash has a variety of different LearnDash starter templates for the Astro theme. So it's another plugin that gives you much more customization and ability to choose from different themes. And you can see a couple of the examples right here. There is also Buddy Boss that integrates so well with LearnDash and it gives a beautiful interface that looks similar to this. It allows a lot more customization ability. It allows social features and a lot of other features to be unlocked and delivered with a beautiful user interface. There's many popular people who use this, Jay Shetty, founder and life project and there's many more so many people found the great combination of learn dash and buddy boss so now let's move over to teachable teachable is a little less customizable there's a few different versions you can choose classic you can choose simple or colossal which are just general themes you can use so this will give you a little bit of a better view this is the very basic if you've ever used teachable it looks like this picture in the corner progress bar courses this changes it a little bit more and then this just makes it super big and easy to use. So these are the main three options. You can also modify things such as a basic part of your theme. You can change the header, you can change the logo, but usually it tends to have roughly the same look and there's not nearly as much customization abilities in Teachable. In fact, if most people really want a good landing page, they use Teachable as the actual course side of things, which costs a lot, and then they'll build a landing landing page with landing page software or with WordPress. Okay, so this next part is how to actually modify your existing Teachable theme. And what you can do are minor tweaks like, you know, changing rough parts of the theme, like the background image, the actual thumbnail, and actually the logo, you can swap that out. So there's not a huge amount of customization ability. You can even change that little logo that shows in the Chrome browser, which is nice. But if you really want full customization ability, it really is much better to use WordPress. In fact, some people that do use Teachable, they also pay for a landing page builder or WordPress just to get it how they want to help people actually convert better before they actually buy their actually Teachable course. All right, so now let's jump into the next important part, which is pricing. So LearnDash is very affordable. They have a new product launch called LearnDash Cloud, which includes hosting, but the traditional thing that we've been using for years is the basic LearnDash LMS plugin, where you then have to get hosting for your site, which is great because that gives you more customization ability. So it's one site is $200 a year. Most places charge monthly. If you have 10 sites, it's 400, and unlimited sites is 800, but this is where most people would be. So $200 a year, 
is not that much more. There are a couple add-ons. I would look in a little deeper to see if that's a good fit for you. But now let's move over to Teachable and show the pricing over there. So Teachable, you know, if you were to go to their annual pricing, you know, they make it look cheap right here, but the similar package is about $1,400. And yeah, you're paying monthly, you're paying roughly monthly the same amount that you would pay right here on an annual basis. But let's look at the fees. And, and the reason why I think the basic, which is $500 a month is not worth it is you're paying 5% to Teachable. That's a huge amount of your revenue. You're not paying anything to LearnDash when you make a sale. So 5% is quite a bit. So you kind of got to do the math, you know, you're going to make enough sales that justifies this big number where they then knock down the transaction fees to zero. You get a few more admin users. You have unlimited courses with the expensive one at $1,400 a month public API if that's something you want. Now, we're not going to look into the business theme because their prices aren't transparent, but you know, at $1,400 a year, you get affiliate marketing, which you can do with LearnDash with a simple plugin. It's a one-time fee around $50 to $100. And then they give you a little support and coaching, live chat for $1,400 a year. It's, it's wild. So yeah, it is considerably more expensive with Teachable compared to LearnDash. Now let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of LearnDash compared with Teachable. So one of the great things about LearnDash is you have topics, lessons, and then quizzes. Quizzes are a great way to test people's knowledge, create active recall, and help embed what they just watched or learned into their long-term memory. And that's a nice feature to add. However, in Teachable, there are no quizzes. There are nothing of that type. There's no way to test if someone retained the information that you shared. And the quizzes on LearnDash are very customizable. You can add videos, you can add questions, you can even structure them in a group dynamic where there's more people involved. So another cool feature about these quizzes on LearnDash is that they're so customizable, you can determine a passing grade through the number of questions, and you can give them a number of tries on each individual quiz, kind of like school. You can also give them a time limit for how much time you allow them to complete the quiz. And then even after each quiz, you'd actually give them a certificate showing that they've completed it. They can download it and have it as a PDF for their own records. And then regarding the topic of course certificates, so say you've done a number of quizzes within a course, you finish that course, and then you actually get a course certificate that shows for your own records or for anyone else that you've completed this entire course. There might be a way of doing it with Teachable, but it's not going to be customizable to the individual's name because there are digital downloads. So you can say a generic document. You have completed the course, but that is it. So it's not nearly as customizable as LearnDash when it comes to actual certificates for completion. One other thing most people don't understand until they're in the process of building course one, course two, course three is LearnDash allows you to easily recycle content into your different courses from previous ones. So now we're going to just quickly jump into the back end of WordPress admin panel and then going into LearnDash LMS and just quickly showing some of these amazing features. So courses are the top and then underneath each course are the different lessons and then underneath that are topics and then within the different lessons you can have quizzes, questions, and certificates. You can even get reporting and you can do other add-ons as well. So you get to see the customization that happens with LearnDash. And one of the great things about all the courses you make within LearnDash is that you can determine or choose how the individuals get access. Is it open, meaning anyone at any time can get in? Is it free, meaning you collect a little information before they get in? Is it a buy now? Or is it a reoccurring, meaning you can do monthly payments for people who come into your course. And then this is a great option right here, which is course prerequisites, meaning, you know, for example, you have to finish Spanish one course before you get to Spanish two and thus, you know, do one and two before you get to three. So it allows you to stop people from skipping around when you have a really organized course. Another very customizable feature in the back end of LearnDash is that you can create different groups and then you can assign different groups of people to different groups or different course members to different groups. And then each group would have a group leader, which allows a social element of each 
course that you have, which actually in the long run really helps people communicate and stick to a course to completion. Okay, so now we're moving out of the admin backend of LearnDash and we're showing another feature which if you decide to use the Buddy Boss theme, it unlocks a very great potential of creating community and being able to have each individual set up their own user profile. And this is what it looks like. It actually looks very attractive. You have the name, it almost looks like a Facebook profile. You can comment on their page and then you can have other friends and connections and it really fosters that community within a course. And lastly, I wanted to mention the gamification ability of LearnDash. And for this example, this is actually using LearnDash Buddy Boss theme and you actually get badges and stats and stars, whatever you choose for the actual individual profile, the more courses and lessons they complete. So you get more of an incentive for each individual to make progress on their account rather than it just being a secret kind of like teachable it doesn't really share how much progress you're making compared to other people in the individual courses that you're in all right so now we're on to the e-commerce features so uh, about learn dash is they have a stripe integration they allow you to connect with different payment gateways including woocommerce and they even support PayPal. Not only do they support one-time purchases, but they also do membership, subscriptions, and if you have a few courses, you can bundle a few together and tell your potential customers you're going to save a little bit by buying more than one. And remember, there are no transaction fees on your sales. Obviously, it would just be the cost of Stripe or PayPal, which is roughly 3%. And if you wanted to use affiliate sales, there's just another plugin you add to WordPress to make that all very easy. Now, moving on to Teachable, Okay, so here's their different payment options. Remember, if you don't wanna pay anything for Teachable, you pay a dollar per transaction plus 10%. This is 5% per transaction. And then this is actually zero, which is nice. And business, which they don't tell you how much it costs, is also 0% on the different transactions. And remember, there are four different ways of being able to process a transaction with Teachable. It is free, one-time payment, subscription, and payment installation. So if it's an expensive course, you can do payment installations as well. So I know we've been talking a lot about the different details of LearnDash versus Teachable, but I think one of the best ways that helps you kind of summarize and get a good feel for LearnDash versus Teachable is actually being able to see the different businesses that have actually used this. So let's just go through it. This is a basic Teachable site. So I'm gonna go through Teachable sites and then we're gonna switch over and look at LearnDash sites. So this is 60 minute physics. This is about as simple as it gets. You get a quote, course description, talks about the instructor, and then they'll give you two previews of two different potential courses, but all the other ones you obviously have to buy. Then you go down to the bottom and it gives you the different pricing options. Now we move over to this Academy Hacker, which a lot of times with these, not 100% clear if this is all built on LearnDash, a lot of times they're built on WordPress or another landing page creator. And then the actual course is hosted on Teachable itself. So here it is, enroll in free courses. And then this is a very familiar Teachable page. And this is what you get. Here's the instructor. Here are the two prices. Price. This is the bundle option. This is houseplants. This is another Teachable site. Very basic, a couple graphics. And then you click through and then this is the very familiar teachable site where you have the round buttons enroll in course and then they do the payment plan and the course plan this is also one more last teachable view course giant button and then you click enroll now and here's the enroll wow thousand dollars and they just want you to buy it just like that all right great now we're moving over to learn dash as you can see all the customization is very different you know this allows you to schedule people so it's not even just a course but it's something a little bit more robust but this is built on learn dash this yoast seo for everyone seo training is also built on learn dash i think it is a beautiful checkout i think this is probably quite optimized you get people to actually check out because it's all in one simple page so that looks very nice this is the drone academy also on learn dash and it gives you a bunch of smaller courses and their primal or prime offering right here is on the top 
click register now. And then this gives you the three great options, which uses all the different Learn Dash options, monthly, annually, and then one-time payment of $200. So you can see this is a pretty good sales page. Then you click Get Started, and it will then take you to the payment processing, which can be customized as well. This is a very simple payment processing. And then you click Sign Up, and you got access right there. So this gives you a good little idea of the customization and how different Learn Dash can be and how much more customizable Learn Dash can be compared to Teachable. All right, so here we are at the end. So when it comes to Learn Dash or Teachable, we have not very close tie. We actually have Learn Dash looking like the clear winner. Not only is the pricing only $200 per year compared to Teachable's over $1,400 per year, but Learn Dash gives you a lot more customization ability, the ability to do quizzes, have courses that people have to pass to get into the next course, even give them course certificates that they can download and share that they've actually completed something. So much more robust, much more customizable, much more features. You know, Teachable is a decent option if you want something super basic and uncustomizable. It's a little bit longer on the load times I've noticed as well. But, you know, the thing is, is Learn Dash can be a little bit more complex than just using Teachable. And that's why we over at Woo Ninjas offer our quick launch service. So if you just have an idea or a course or some videos made, we can take that from just a blank idea into actually an up and running site. Here are our prices. This is for using a theme like Buddy Boss or Astra. We also have custom packages and other add-ons we can do for you to take your concept, your videos into an actual LMS system that's making you money. And if you maybe just want some help with maintenance or a couple hours here and there to work on your site, we can do that as well. We even offer migrations over to Learn Dash from you know, Teachable, Thinkific, which a lot of people are taking us up on because they want speed and they want customizability. And also don't forget our maintenance plans. So we offer pretty much everything you need to make this run. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We are the Woo Ninjas. And make sure to put any questions you might have in the comment area. We'll get back to those as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.